Hello everyone. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to upload or get in touch with anyone because I've been sick with the flu. So I'm recovering so I'm a little congested. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what I found in my closet that I purchased about a year or so ago. I hid this behind clothes because at that time, a good friend of mine was robbed while she was at work and all her designer bags were taken from her closet. So, and nothing else was missing. That's so weird. It's like they just went for the bags. So, at that time, I had just purchased this and so when I went to my closet, so I hid this behind um, clothes. So this spring, I was spring cleaning and I discovered, oh, I have this bag because I had been using a smaller bag because I injured my shoulder um, right around when I started YouTube three or three or three months ago. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. Dun da da da! There you go! It's such a huge bag. I know this is a brown bag, and I'm probably the only one that's still doing a new unboxing. There's probably people that are unboxing their stuff in this brown bag, but mine is brand new. I have never used it before straight from the store to the house to my closet and never I've gotten busy I have never um, used it so I've been using this small Cabas piano that I recently sold on Facebook at Marketplace it's a very good one my sister actually did it for me um, that one the the other strap just kept falling and, and it's not good for my shoulder anymore. So, and then I had the Speedy, which I gave to, it's really well loved. I gave it to a friend of mine, Speedy 25, that one's too small. So now I would love to get a Speedy Bandolier. But this one, let me show you this. It even has this receipt right there, just like how I got it. Because now they're all in orange, orange boxes and bags. So this just slides out, just like this. And you remove the box, just like this. See that? Look at this! Dun, 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 dun. It's still in the dust bag. And this is. Dun, 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 dun. The iconic Never Full. In the size GM. As you all know, it comes in three sizes. There's the medium one called Neverfull MM, and then the smallest one, which is the Neverfull PM. I love this bag because it's flexible. You can leave leave it as it is, this large like this, or you can make it smaller. This is iconic. They redesigned this iconic bag. It it now comes in this um, B1. It's a fabric lining and this is a monogram canvas. It comes in Damier Iben and the Damier Azure. So I love this one. I know over time the Vaqueta leather right here 
well patina into a honey colored brown but you can prevent that some people I know some friends of mine they um, they either don't get this type the monogram canvas I love the monogram canvas I even have really really old uh, Louis Vuitton and back then they make it um, the leather you can tell the leather is very thick now they don't make it like that anymore so as I'm saying you can make this smaller by cinching the sides like this you see and this redesign not only comes in different uh, vivid uh, fabric it also comes with this mini bag the mini clutch and this is removable and it's separate it's got a little compartment inside with even the logo so let me remove it it attaches to this d-ring inside You see this? It says LV on this D ring. So you can use it like this. This reminds me, it's so substantial canvas. It reminds me of the uh, recently created Kirigami. It comes the kirigami comes in three sizes but it's a flap not like this separate but it's flat and it's, it's got a flap and a button in the middle and it nestled like a nesting doll like nesting dolls it comes in three sizes so this is what reminds me of there you go so just for this one alone, the price is totally worth it because it depends on who's selling it. Sometimes this can be priced $400 to $500. So this is so totally worth it. Uh, Louis Vuitton just had a price increase. It's now $1,400 for the Neverfull this size GM. But when I purchased this about a year ago, it was $1,340, $1,240 US dollars. So I guess I saved about $60. But the good thing about this, if you take care of your bag and later on you get, you get tired of it, um, this will last because I had so many pieces that I've gotten rid of. And the price really um, hold and it will even go up so when my son was little when we were in Virginia I used to take him to um, in Northern Virginia there's um, the mall near where we used to live I would take him in the stroller and we would look at the uh, Louis Vuitton bags and at that time I remember the price of Neverfull was $7.50 can you imagine that seven years because now he's eight so seven and a half years later the price is $1,400 so if I had purchased one and I hid it in my closet in today's market, I would probably be able to make good money. So, just an example of um, how, you know, designer bags maintain its price. I also sold a Gucci bag recently and then I had a Speedy 25 that I just gave to a friend so there you go 
this is how it looks like and I am 5'6 so there you go I don't know if you can see so there's the D-ring here a D-ring two D-rings one for closure just like that and you can also for extra protection you can also clip this onto here so let's do that let's say you're traveling just to contain your stuff just like that such a nice bag. I love the canvas. And there's the inner beautiful vivid color. Look at the separate inside pocket. You can contain all your stuff. You can even fit a mini iPad there, your cell phone, let me uncinch, and then let me show you where, because people seem to find, uh, seems to have a hard time finding the date code, so the date code is on this side, if you're facing away um, the same way as your bag, it's on that left side, underneath the pocket. That's where the date code is. So it's right there. This is the pocket and it's right there. Sometimes the date code can be hard to find. So Louis Vuitton is all about perfection. As you can see on the side here, if they cut the canvas, it's all uniform. It's not going to be cut here and then another whole one this is here because you'll see that. But some sophisticated fakes can also imitate this. But one thing though, if you purchase a Louis Vuitton bag, they will have a record of your purchase. So they will know how many bags you purchased from them. There you have it. I just want to share with you my bag and over time this will patina I don't know if I already said it but the cowhide leather will patina into a honey colored brown you can spray it with um, to prevent it you can spray it with the what you call apple guard or something similar to prevent it from oxidizing this is uh, untreated. Well, it's kind of a treated, but it will still um, oxidize. There you go. Thank you for watching.